Hello everyone, Wanderer here, and welcome to Outward, a new open world survival RPG that is developed by uh, Nine Dot Studios and published by Deep Silver. So I heard about this game from a couple of viewers and decided to check it out myself, and after watching several reviews and debating heavily because this is a $40 game, um, and it has mostly positive reviews, but there are some negatives as well. It was kind of a gamble. Decided to go ahead and pick it up, and after playing the tutorial, I have to say I'm glad I did. I have not played any of the actual game yet, but just from playing the tutorial, I can already tell that this is my kind of game. Now, before I go too deeply into talking about all the stuff I want to talk about this game, let's just start, because I always hate it when someone rambles for five minutes at the beginning screen here. So let's start a new game here. And this is co-op mode. You can play with two players. I'm going to play with just... I'm going to play with just myself. Yeah, that sounds bad. Sounds bad, Wanderer. I'm going to play solo. How about that? One player. Oh, and we can uh, make our character here. And we look, we look very, very average, don't we? Not particularly... Not a particularly attractive man is Jim. No, not, not so much. Not a particularly attractive woman is Jim. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I, I guess I will go with male because I always feel weird if I play a female in a game. Um, so we can have a couple different. So we, we've got uh, basically white, black, Asian. Okay. Um, I'm a white dude. I guess I'll be a white dude in game. Um, instead of Jim, I will just call myself Ken. I'm surprised it's not like, you know, it's a fantasy RPG, so I'm surprised the name is Jim. You know, it's not, uh, I don't know, Feluvius the Wise or some weird name like that. No, it's just Jim. So that's fine. If Jim is an appropriate name, then I'll just call myself Ken. That's my real life name. That's fine with me. All right, uh, face style. Let's see. Old man. Uh, young man with lots of scars, apparently. Man. Feel better about myself after looking at these guys. Okay, this this guy's more average looking, I guess. Um, I I'd say this is the most normal looking one. I guess we'll go with that. Hairstyles here. Um, none of these are particularly appealing to me. There, very very basic. A basic guy, okay. Um, and the hair color, I have somewhat reddish hair. Not that red. Uh, not that ginger either. More of a dark brown red. Eh, okay, I guess we're going with that. Legacy. Oh, oh, right. So, um, I believe with this game, you can... There is, you're encouraged to do multiple playthroughs on this game. And... Once you play through one time, you can leave certain items, like heirloom items, for your next character, which are like, I don't know, you're going to be your, your um, not your ancestor, like, you're going to be the ancestor of the new characters, basically. So your your ancestor that completed the game is going to leave items for your new characters. It's, it's kind of a cool little system they have that sort of encourages multiple playthroughs, and there are three different factions that you can join, and... They are exclusive, so if you decide to go with one, you're stuck with that faction for the rest of the playthrough, apparently. So, that's uh, important which faction you choose, and you're encouraged to play through at least three times to get all the different stories. Anyway, uh, there is Ken. I'd, I'd say he's very average. He doesn't look quite as horrible as the rest of them. Let's start. So, this game does feature crafting, as noted here. Oh. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Sirzo, spared the brutality of the world outside. But life in Arai is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. Okay, so we live in Sirzo, and we have been spared the brutality of the outside world. Arai is uh, the overarching world, like the wide world. Um... Sirzo is a town, I guess, or a city, and we're judged by our bloodline, so what our parents did, basically, and our other ancestors. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. 
We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since, so Grandma screwed up. Damn you, Grandma. Why'd you have to do it? So Grandma messed up, and because of that, forevermore, um, we will have to pay a blood price, and it's not something we pay back once. We have to pay it over and over, apparently. I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Izan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. So not a successful voyage for Ken with his old friend Izan, or I'm just going to say Izan, that's what I'm going to say. Um, did not make any money on that voyage, I would think. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. So, basically, we're in a bit of a tight spot financially. We cannot repay our blood debt, and we have to go out and face the land and try to make some money and make something of ourselves or die trying. So, um, again, with uh, this here, you can lock on enemies. That's kind of like a similar to... The combat's very similar to Dark Souls. Okay, so we start out on a dock. And... Okay, we're just out on a dock here. So I have the FOV set a bit uh, high, which is to my liking. But if it bothers you a lot, then I have the FOV set to, I believe, 70. If it really bugs you, let me know, and uh, we can possibly change that in the future. So, let me talk a bit about uh, the developer and the game and stuff. Um, so, this is published by Deep Silver, who did, I believe, Metro, the Metro series, as well as Kingdom Come. What we have here is some... Oh, just a dead person. Nothing on. No, I can't loot them. Another torch. Okay, makeshift torch. See, the items are sparkly. Let's gather some gabberries. Gabberries? Gabberries? What do we have here? A tattered attire. Okay, auto equip that for us. Um, so this is a game that takes a lot of elements from a lot of different games that I like. Um, survival type games like Ark, Rust, etc. Um, it takes the basic elements of those. These are rather pretty. Oh, here we go. Gather salt water and drink salt water. I can't actually interact with this big shell though. It takes all those sort of uh, different things, like, and, and it also takes a, a lot from games like, say, Skyrim or Fallout, and it's an open-world RPG with a story. It has factions. Um, it has the combat of something like Dark Souls, though it's not quite as polished. Is there a guy over here? Definitely a guy over there. I just picked something up. I don't know what it was. Let's take some more gaberries. Those are a food item. I know that from the tutorial. Um, but yeah, it takes a lot of the elements from different games that I like quite a lot and sort of mashes them together into a whole. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they all work together. Can I not? There we go. Was not getting the pro- oh, went too far forward. Get those good berries. But yeah, I'm interested to see how those elements kind of work together, how they've sort of mashed them all together to make them work and hopefully to make none of them too tedious. Let's talk to- wait. Gather, oh, gather tree, sure. Get some, get some wood here so we can sort of fire or something later. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how those things work together. So I can use a bedroll to sleep here. There's just, just a guy, two guys just laying dead here, huh? Um, so I can put some berries in the campfire and I can craft those. And, um, it will then make boiled gaberries. Uh Rots more slowly and provides more nutrition. Let's put that on our... Can I put that on my hot, hot bar like that? No, I can't. Uh, to do the hot bar, it is L. And then we need to put it on the hot bar. Let's put it on five because... Yes, yeah, so the hot bar is... It's not It's not bad. The, the, the way that things work in this game uh, is not bad. As far as the menus and stuff go, they're a little bit overwhelming if you have not gone through the tutorial. So I really recommend that you do that if you uh, have not. What is this ability here? Another thing I don't like is that you can't... 
when you're in the quick slot assignment, you can't see what this is. If you wanna see what it actually is, um, you need to go to, can I make a campfire kit? Let's go ahead and do that. I can make a club too. Let's do that too. Okay, make a prim made a primitive club. Can I make arrows? No, I need iron scrap for arrows. Uh, I need cloth for badges. Bedroll, we need skins. Okay, so, this, so like I said, this has crafting elements like a lot of RPGs do. We need cloth and more wood for that. Satchel, we need more hide and cloth. Okay, no, it, none of this is too... Um, it, it's not extremely, like, cumbersome to learn this, I don't think. It's not difficult. Oh, we are thirsty already. Okay, well, let's let's talk to this guy and figure out what's what here. Oh, it's, uh, it's Izan, hey is our friend. Ken, you're alive. You must be freezing. Come warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Where are we, Izan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? So it only has partial voice acting, which is fine. I don't mind reading the stuff. Uh, but anyway, so we're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Ido made it out too. He's making his way to Sirzo to go get help. Ido made out alive too. Thank Ilot. I guess that's one of our gods, Ilot. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. Right, so he's a Kazite, born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he's had to survive a shipwreck. Got it. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Okay. Um, sure. I'm already thirsty though. Is there any water around here? What is this? A basket? Oh, there's bread here. Okay, I'll take some bread, sure. It's a dead lady here, too. I'm not so, uh, sh I don't know, Izan, are these, are these our fellow travelers, or did you just kill these people? This looks like, uh, oh, this, this is a part of a ship. How did the, how did the ship end up up here, Izan? Can you tell me that? Can we put the torch, I think we can put the torch away, man. I'm gonna be honest, I think you can probably... Um, yeah, okay, yeah, put that away. I think you can put that away. Let's equip the club. Okay, we got that. And sheathe the club. That is Z to sheathe, okay. There we go. Um, there's salt water around here, but there's no, um... There's no actual water, and my, my character is thirsty, and I don't have any any water on me, so, um, this guy's telling me to sleep, but, you know, honestly, I'm thirsty, so I think I ought to go find some water, yeah? And this is, of course, this is clean, okay, here we go, this is clean water, so let's drink the clean water. I, I'm actually, you know, I'm kind of impressed here, because I assumed, right, because water typically flows out to the sea, Although, in this case, it looks like it's flowing in from the sea here, but uh, it, it does make sense that the water coming from the stream here going out to sea would be clean. That's pretty common, right? Freshwater rivers flow into the saltwater sea. That's, that's how it works. That's how these things work. So can I gather this without... I need a water skin. Okay, got it. Okay, well, at least we're hydrated. He told us to sleep. Um, so I, I guess we can sleep a little bit there. Let me, uh, get a little bit of food here. I can't cook my, I, I guess you, you wouldn't cook bread, right? I mean, I wonder what happens if I cook it. Does it just burn it? Does it make toast? Okay, it makes toast. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's use the improvised bedroll... Get some sleep, I guess. And, um... I, I... I don't know, man. I... How long do I really need to sleep? Do I really need to sleep? I think I look okay. I think we look fine. I don't think we had to sleep, but... He told us to, and I... This is like a tutorial type thing, so I suppose uh, we'll see what happens here. Oh no, unconsciousness comes quickly and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed, relief floods you as you recognize where you are. 
you are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sirzo. Okay, so it just, we got taken back to our, our uh, house. All right. Izan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. It's a bit odd. We were fine. We were walking around and good and stuff. And then Yuzan's like, let's just carry you back. Let's just put you in a, I don't know, a cloth sack or something and drag you back home. Uh, thanks, I guess, Yuzan. That's just kind of weird. Um, many places are dark and require lanterns or torches. Okay, yeah, got it. All right. So, Castaway's log has been updated. Uh, do I have a journal? Yes. J is journal. So, I rested in a campsite bedroll, and um, I should find someone who can help. That's not very uh, helpful. Okay, so we've got some basic stuff here. We've got some worker boots, some workers attire. Uh, okay. Got a bed over here. This, this, is our, this is our home. I guess we are on our own, but we at least have a home here. Provided to us by our bloodline. Okay, what do we have? Tire to tire and dry mushroom bar. Uh, okay, let's, um... Mushrooms pied into a bar. That sounds disgusting. I'm not going to lie, it sounds disgusting. But you know what? It is what it is. So, the different uh, armors have different stats. It looks like... This green worker's attire is probably one of the better ones we can do. So let me go ahead and see here. Two and two all around. This is three, two, and six. Uh, this one is pretty all around decent. It doesn't have, uh, has more, this has more resist though. More combat resist. I'm going to, um, Gonna put this over here for now. We only need really one torch as well. Can always make more of those out in the field. I don't think we need the wood either, really. Um, you know, we've got toast and uh, we've got gadberries. Not gadberries. I, I keep wanting to call it gadberry because gaberry just sounds weird. I think we're just gonna go with that. And what do we have here? Primitive satchel. Okay, here we go. So I can equip that with B. That's our basic backpack right there. These must be some of our ancestors there, I suppose. Um, so there is our satchel. Let's, um, can I move this? Yeah, we can move this stuff over to our satchel. Put that on. Um, now, how do I... Okay, yeah, put it out for now. We don't want to have the torch running all the time. Oh, there we go. We have, we have Gaberries. You know, um, I'm not going to go picking up absolutely everything. Because this is... Well, then again, maybe we're going to get kicked out of our house and we won't be able to get this stuff later. I don't know. I'd assume you can get to your stash anytime. Oh, we have a full kitchen here too. Nice. Got an oil lantern. Um, I'm just going to stick with the torch for now. We have some, what, ingots over here? Yeah, iron scrap. Improvised bedroll. We're going to want that. Flint and steel as well, and then uh, the bedroll probably. So here's the kitchen. I learned about the kitchen. You can, you can make stuff in the kitchen. You can make... Oh, you know, we've got... Oh, can I... Can I make... Um, hold on. Yes, I can make a berry tartine. So I, I need toast and then a berry jam. Yeah. Okay, I know that's like silly that I'm that... That I'm that, um... Impressed by that, but I, I actually am. It's, it's, it's cool. It's fun to find out that you can make things and whatnot. Cooking Cervo Ceviche. I don't... Ceviche is like, um... It's like a raw meat that's been sort of cooked by, uh, being like brined in an acidic sort of solution. Like, typically it's like seafood. 
there must be like a recipe or something. I don't know. Anyway, let, you know what? That's fine. That's, that's cool. I learned a little bit there. Can I go up here? No, I cannot go up there. Okay. Uh, enough uh, puttering around inside of here. I think we need to head outside. Yes, go to Sierzo Streets. Uh-oh. This uh, does not look good. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? I was playing to pay you, I swear. Blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. Well, um, I was trying to make money. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. I just woke up from a shipwreck. Have a heart, won't you? Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? Jeez, you know, um, I, w I was trying. I mean, gosh, um, doesn't change the fact that I have no money left and I can't pay you. I, you can't, you can't take blood from a rock, lady. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home. Really? Enough of this. Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. Okay, so there... Thank you, Risa Aberdeen, for sticking up for me. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Ah, okay, so uh, Risa has declared a period of mourning, um, so they can't take my stuff. But, Chamber Lady Aberdeen... Man, the, the people in this tribe, like... They don't give a shit, man. It's like, you pay up. You pay up, or we're taking your shit, man. I said that is enough. If you want to resume discussions after the mourning period, feel free. Okay. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. All right, thanks, Rissa. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I can't believe they're gonna seize my house. Can't you do something, Rissa? If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. Okay. So, I have to pay off those four months of missed payments or I lose the house. So, uh, I have five days to make some money. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money, or earn a tribal favor, and they won't be able to touch you. Okay, I wonder what a tribal favor is. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please, find a way to make it work. You know what? Let's do it. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. Never forget. No one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. Okay, so we probably have to do some stuff before we can leave. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Okay, so so we're on a timer here. We've got to get money within five days. Who's this person here? Oh, it's uh, Oliel. I'm glad you survived the wreck. Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. Oh, I forgot to read the text there. Oh, okay. Uh, I must have asked her about the book she's reading. But with the shipwreck... It wouldn't be right to leave so soon. So yeah, you have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to get the money together that Rissa is demanding from me. I have faith in you. You'll pull through. Okay, well, I'm glad you have faith in me, but uh, if you had some coin you could give me, that would be even better. Farewell, my friend. Just like the real world, man. Everybody just wants money from you. That's how it goes. No one gives a damn. Wait, what is this? I can gather from a tree. Okay. Alright, uh, well, we better get going. 
and uh, do some stuff. I don't think I need to gather from like every Gaberi bush I see. So yeah, uh, graphically the game is not like outstanding. It's not terrible though. It's not, put it this way, I have like a certain level of graphical standard that I feel like um, it, as long as a game meets that basic level and the graphical style has good sort of um, cohesion with itself, then it works for me, basically. Can I go in here? I cannot. This is not somewhere I can enter into. Yeah, there's no prompt to open that door or anything there. Music is decent as well. So, so far, so good. It, it's not like a... It's not a super crazy story or anything, but this game is kind of um, based around... What is this? Is this like a... Can I get some basic swords and stuff from these people? Amber, my friend. Uh, sure. Oh, oh, okay, so I can train here, and um, so skill costs are rather high. Yeah, okay, so I, I can train here. What could I do for you? Oh, okay, so you can teach me to use a one-handed axe to cripple and slow my enemies uh, for 50 silver. Okay, so you can teach me a, a move, basically. All the training in this game costs money, by the way. You you can't just, um, you know, you, you don't just learn stuff and have a skill tree. You have to pay for your training, all of it, uh, which kind of makes sense. A lot of this game is seems to be based sort of on immersion, you know? It's all about, oh, who is this? Roland Argenson. Oh, what brings you here? How's my brother doing? Well, he's alive. That's more than most other people on an expedition can say. Yeah, shame about the shipwreck. Accidents like this happen all the time. You know, you sound a little suspicious there, Roland. Maybe you had something to do with that shipwreck. You didn't happen to uh, do something that would have caused the shipwreck to happen so you could maybe, I don't know, inherit your brother's house or something like that? Okay, but yeah, I guess the bay is pretty dangerous. If it keeps pirates away, and I guess it's dangerous to our ships too. Exactly. If my brother had a smaller ship, I guarantee you wouldn't have had any trouble coasting in. Shouldn't you be helping your brother salvage the wreck? I don't think he wants my help. <sighs> This is the worst day I've had in forever. Roland, I'm pretty sure that, considering that, you know, you didn't almost die in the shipwreck, that uh, your day is not going anywhere near as bad as mine or your brother's, but whatever. You just think about you, buddy. That seems to be the theme of people in this place is, uh, you know, look out for number one at all other costs. I am suspicious of Roland. I think maybe he had something to do with our vehicle's uh, unfortunate shipwreck. Can I go in here? Oh, okay, here we go. Sears of Storage. Hmm. Is there, there is like a stealth. I'm not, I'm, well, there's, you can crouch. I'm, I'm not sure if this is uh, a stealth or hmm there's stuff just laying around here um okay All right bed roll some bread i mean is this stealing <laughs> it seems like stealing i've worn into a, the storage for this place and it seems like i'm stealing stuff I don't see any guards around or anything, and it wasn't locked, surprisingly. Um, I already, I already can make a berry jam. I'm pretty sure. I mean, does that... Let's see here. Oh, so I can read that. Okay, so no, I do have to read this, and then I can... That gives me recipes for stuff. Okay, so you find recipes out in the world. 
That's how you learn how to make stuff. Uh, see, junk pile here. Oh, we've got an axe. Okay. A looter armor. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, take all. We'll take all that stuff. And let's equip our axe, our hatchet. This is... Can I compare this? Oh, it's tab to compare, right? So, um... This thing, is this hatchet is actually a bit worse than my primitive club. Impact, by the way, is like... There's a an impact meter down below uh, the health bar. And ours is down at the very bottom of the screen, that little white bar there. Can I uh, turn my torch on? I need to figure out the... Um, the keybind for that. Oh, we've got a uh, mining pick. Can I go through here and mine stuff? I guess I don't really need to be sneaking, do I? No one seems to give a damn that I'm in here going through here. What does ore look like? Let me put this on as well. Um, can I not... Uh, really? What if I send this to a quick slot? Like that. And assign this to a quick slot too, like right there. Okay. That doesn't seem to do anything. I guess I should assign my torch to a quick slot as well. Oh, no, I didn't, didn't want to drop it. Um, I forgot, I can't just drag it to down here. I have to, um, let's see, assign a quick slot. Uh, e, sure. Okay, there we go. Apparently I cannot use... Uh, I don't know what this guy is. Uh, this guy looks dangerous. I'm not sure about this. I don't know about this, guys. I guess we want our uh, club. Okay, so I do know that you want to... Okay, tell you what, we're going to run back down here. This might be my first combat experience, and I'm not ready for it, because combat in this game is hard. We're going to run out here, we're going to drop our pack, because uh, you fight far better without a pack. Okay, so I guess we lock on this guy. Alright, dodge, got it. Uh, oh, un unsheath your weapon! Where- there it is. There we go. Oh, no. This isn't too bad. I think we got this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, easy. We got it. It's a troglodyte. All right. What, what do you have? Uh, thick oil. Okay, sure. Oh, and we have a troglodyte trident. Uh, let's let's see. What, what is that? How does that compare to ours? Uh, 16 and 20. It has a rather high attack speed. No, wait, that's ours. Uh, ours, um, I think I'm going to keep mine for, for now, to be honest. Okay, let's get our backpack back on. Oh, I think our, oh, no. Uh, oh, V. V is to raise and lower your torch. Okay. Equip our satchel. So if you, uh, if you, if you don't unequip your satchel, um, you will dodge more slowly in combat, and just generally things will not go very well for you. So this must be... well, no, this is like a mushroom. Oh, another one. Alright. This isn't too bad so far. Although I am losing a lot of health here. What is this? Restores food. Okay. Oh, troglodyte. What do we have? Troglodyte. Just a trident, right? I guess we'll take these for now. I'm not really sure they're worth anything. I don't know how deep in here we should really go. I also don't want to get lost. Do I have anything that restores any health? Because, um... Probably forgot to take off my backpack for that fight, too. Uh, let's see. Can we use that? I suppose I could use a bedroll and sleep for a while. That might do it. I, I'll get a couple more... 
Uh, some more looting and a couple more rounds of combat here before I try sleeping, though. This game reminds me a bit, well, I haven't actually played it, but I've I've watched some gameplay, quite a f well, not a quite a few, but a few episodes of uh, the game Kenshi, and this kind of reminds me a bit of that as well. What does this say? Danger, going forward is strange in the wilderness until you make your way back to the village. Okay, because you jump off of here and then you're you're out in the village. That's This is one way to get out. So this is a way to get out um, if the guards don't let you out, which might be the way that you're supposed to get out. Maybe they say, no, you're not ready. We won't let you go. We're not going to let you out in the wilderness. Um, and then you have to go this way. That's a possibility. Don't know. Or maybe this is just a way for you to go if you just want to skip all the tutorial stuff and just want to go right to the wilderness. Maybe you can do it like that. Um, I think I am going to um, go back through... Oh, he, oh, here we go. We can uh, we can mine the iron vein. So there... Oh, got a medium ruby. Okay. That's cool. So when you go up to a vein, when you, when you see an ore vein uh, and you go up to it, you can just hold F to mine it. You don't have to actually put the... Um, the mining pick on your toolbar, it seems. Okay, well, uh, I think my torch is going to run out pretty soon. I want to go back to where I was, which is, yeah, it's over here. I think that's all it's here. So this is just kind of a short little area that allows you to get outside. Um, again, we might take that, I think. No, I actually don't want to sleep. Um, well... Okay, so it heals my health and stuff. We're going to be thirsty after that. Uh, it's fine. Go ahead, sleep. They were just going to be really thirsty when we wake up. Yes, we are thirsty. Okay, so, and I, can I, I can disassemble it? Right, now we did, we picked it up and took it. Now, we already have one. Oh, we're overweight. Our bag is overweight. We are thirsty, though. Let's go ahead and uh, use some water here. That reduces our weight a bit. Oh, so, you know, you can, um, you get five uses out of your water here. We ought to put that on a quick slot, too. Let's put, uh, this on four. I have our food and water on four and five. So, get some food there. I'm not using it, are I? Does this say, like, what it's worth or anything? It doesn't really say. Let's just drop it. I don't think we need both of them, man. Okay. Uh, let's head... Outside, I think. What was this over here? Uh, flint and steel. Yeah, I probably want... Oh, we're overweight again. Maybe with a lantern, too, probably. I think we're, like, we're over-encumbered a little bit, but... I think it's not a huge deal. I guess not until you get to a certain point with the over-encumbrance that it really matters too much. Maybe it makes your stamina drain a bit faster, but I can't really tell a difference. All right, so, um, random townspeople, random, oh, random guard. Here is the blacksmith. This is Rufus. Blessings of a lot upon you. Uh, yeah, you're a healer, so what should I be worried about in the wild? Well, um, what should I do if I catch disease? That's actually a good one. You can brew or buy various types of tea to begin the recovery process to make your own in the wild. You'll need ingredients in a cooking pot. After drinking, you'll need some time before the illness is actually cured. Okay, makes sense. Okay, thanks, Rufus. Uh, this is the... What can I... All right. Okay, so I can sell stuff and buy stuff here. Got it. All right, loud hammer. Uh, oh, so yeah, here we go. So let's let's sell some crap. Then. So we got bandages. We got that. Uh, let's. Oh, this ruby is uh, sells for a lot. So okay, we'll sell that. That's fine. Um, sell the armor. Sell that. I want to keep the pick. I don't think I need the hatchet for anything. Can sell that too. Hey, man, we're already, like, well on our way to making our 150 uh, coins or whatever. That's not too bad. Okay, yeah, confirm. That's fine. Um, what do you have here? Let's, can we compare this? Wait, let's, can I, oh, there we go. Yes, uh, you know what? It's not that bad. Let's remove that. 
Okay, so this guy's got weapons and stuff. He's the blacksmith, obviously. That's how that works. But we are well on our way to making the money we need after just finding that... Um, I, get, I can't jump, can I? There's no... Oh, we have uh, our backpack. Wait, what? What was... Oh, right. It, it tells you when you have your backpack equipped and you try to jump. Um... Oh, nice. We can make some leather boots, leather hats. So here's here are some recipes Oops, that we can use. And uh, okay, so read that, read that, read that. I like that like there are keybinds for everything, and you can just very quickly go boom, 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 like you know, read through stuff. And I think uh, the more I play, the more familiar I get with the keybinds, the more quickly I'll be able to do some of this stuff, the more comfortable I'll be with it, and uh, I'll be able to play a lot quicker, which I. Like, I enjoy it when games don't rely overly much on just the mouse. Okay, so it's training guys. We're not going to bother with them just yet. I don't know if it's actually... Um, if we should or not, maybe we should. Okay, well, uh, I think it's time that we go out in the wilds. Um... So, if we want to go out in the wilds, then we need to go where? There is a lighthouse. There's our home over there. There's the guard. I'm not actually sure. They said it was... I, I want to say the northwest gate? Let me see here. We are... Oh, no. It's going to be... So, right over here is our house. We're, like, over in here. There's town hall. We're on day two already. Although, I think... We're probably only on day one as far as our... Ooh, felling great axe, okay. Just laying around, we can just take it. Does uh, pretty good damage and has no key attack speed. I'm going to go ahead and equip that. And uh, it's two-handed, which is fine. Let's move that to a quick slot as well. We'll put that on one. What is this? What is... Is this a skill? We are wet because it's raining, right? Um, that's quick slots. Oh, push kick. Weak attack. Weak attack that excels at knocking back. Okay, it knocks enemies back. Got it. Didn't know what that was. Does this make us, like, really slow? I really wish I could just um, drag and drop this. But it's fine. No, it doesn't make us slow. We're fine. Oh, so we like we like hoard on our shoulder there, if we we have the two hand weapon out. I like how you hold it. That's like kind of immersive, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe not really. Helen Turnbull. Greetings, friend. Um, I may have something for you. What does that mean? Lend me your ear. I have this unusual item. I'm always interested in curiosities. Oh. What have you got? Okay, never mind. So if we have interesting stuff, we can maybe sell it to Helen Turnbull. All right. Um, I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. What can I do nearby? As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Yeah, sure. If the pay is good, I'll, w I'll risk my life for coin. Here's what I need. You're looking for a rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. It grows in Blisterboro, northeast of Sirzo. Okay. You'll know it if you find it. All right. 70 silver. All right. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. Okay. I have fantastic hearing, poor eyesight. Got it. Lend me your ear. So, to get the blister, to get there, to Blisterboro, head out the main gate, then follow the road to the left. When you get to another fork on the road, a wooden gate, turn left again. Okay. Road to the left. Fork on the road at the wooden gate, left again. Uh, crude statues. Made by troglites. Okay. I'll see you. Okay, so we got a job. We got a job to go out in the wilderness and, and kill some troglodytes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and do that. It's getting on like nighttime here, though, huh? Get some more gab better. G not gad berries, gub berries. God, I keep saying the wrong thing. 
What are you doing here? Soroborian Caravaner. Greetings, friend. Um, okay, you, uh... What do you sell? Giant Iron Key. Wow, and it... <laughs> It's it's a key sword, does it, a key mace I guess has a bunch of uh, damage and impact damage. Just, like none of the stuff seems to have a a level on it. It seems like you can just um, you can just uh, use it whenever. Spike trap. Okay, S palladium spikes. A really nice spike trap. Does heavy damage to enemies that step on it. Cool. Got it. I know that, like, making traps is a thing in this game, and it can be really advantageous. Alright, there's Loud Hammer. I don't know why, but it remind the game reminds me of uh, Morrowind a bit. I guess maybe just sort of the overall designs. There is, like, magic and stuff in this game, too, by the way. Uh, you just you don't get it right away. Oh, okay, let's, let's uh, gather clean water. Let's drink some clean water. Gather clean water. Do we have both of our skins filled? We do. We have both of our water skins filled. Cool. I think that uh, the survival elements in this game are fairly light. Like, they're not particularly difficult. We'll probably should get our torch out here. And should uh, raise it. There we go. So we can see where the hell we're going. We cannot jump over, like, anything, which I don't care for a whole lot. Lack of jumping mechanics in games bothers me a bit because, you know, you can jump IRL. Okay, this is just the roof of a house. Let's keep going. Let's find the gate. I want to find the gate and uh, actually get out of here. Oh, I can walk over that, I guess. Uh, uh, can I can leave? I help you? Carry on, then. Yeah, whatever. Let's just find the gate, man. I suppose I could look at the damn map. Wow, that lighthouse is like, that light is like really, really bright. Oh, there we go. It, the light disappears whenever you don't look at the actual lighthouse. It's kind of weird. What are you? You're a chocobo. You're a big old chocobo chicken, aren't you? This is not Final Fantasy, man. Okay, here's the gate. Uh, there's the warden, right? Whoa, hold up there! Oh, not like that, you aren't. You need at least an equipped weapon, a water skin, and then an equipped backpack before you're ready to face the outside world. I have all that. If I let you adventure outside without basic equipment, you're pressed to find a weapon. Make yourself a quarterstaff. Okay. I'm also sure you can find a spare water skin by the water purifier on the town beach. I already got that stuff though. I've got a I've got a basic backpack equipped. Um, do I need to? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I've I've got primitive satchel. So I have to put this on my equipment. Uh, as well as maybe this. I can't I can't do both though. What about now? Are you happy now? Need something? Well, you got the essentials at Here least. Here we go. Okay. Here. I'll teach you a skill. Okay, so want me to teach you one for the weapon you're currently holding? Um Hmm. Yeah, sure. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. Execution. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls use the door when you want to head out okay so I learned a skill um, equipment recipes can I make me no I need this stuff to make a bandage can I make this stuff no I need um... oh so I can put something in here and then I will maybe make some better armor or something all right so uh, execution, right, here, here we go, here's our skills, got it. And this is what, dagger slash, okay, execution, stamina cost 12, 115, 
high damage and impact strike, it deals twice its damage against knocked down foes. So if I knock them down, I can quickly finish them off maybe with that. Okay, let's uh, quick slot that. I guess over to um, three, because we're not going to be using that anymore. That's fine. Okay, we're outside, guys. We're outside. So I think, everyone, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode, but I will be playing this game more. I've obviously just started. Wow, it's nighttime, isn't it? So um, I don't know if exploring out here in the nighttime is the best idea, but uh, I'm, tr I'm on a strict timer here trying to, you know, get... Uh... The music's really cool. I'm on a strict timer here trying to earn enough money so I don't get kicked out of my house and have it taken from me. So I think we have no choice but to explore. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here, everyone. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.